and extend the left leg straight back for half moon. Hey everyone, welcome to class. My name is Erin Motz because sometimes I think there's a lot of new people around here and just in case you've stumbled on this video, my name's Erin. And in case you're wondering, I am 18 weeks pregnant right now and sometimes in pregnancy we have these magical days where we actually feel pretty good and we want to do something strong without overdoing it so i wanted to give you a yoga flow it's a little bit more on the power side so that you can feel safe and comfortable doing this while still getting in a little bit of a nice little yoga workout so you don't need any props um, i want you to start in child's pose so we'll just ease our way into it, bring the feet together, knees wide apart, slide the hips back, and relax the head down. So of course, depending on how far along you are, you may have to take the knees really wide, but just wide enough so that you're comfortable. And you might even take the knees really wide anyway, even if you're not that far along. It can just feel a little bit better on the back and on the hips. So take a few breaths here, breathing deeply into the back of the body, feeling the ribs expand. And as we move through class today, I want you to breathe in whichever way feels natural for you. So make sure you're not holding your breath. Breathing fully, deeply. And if you need to breathe through the mouth, I know that's not typically what we do in yoga, but go for it. Take one more inhale. And exhale, start to slide yourself up to the hands and knees. So wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We'll take a few rounds of cat-cow, exhaling round. Inhale, pull the chest through, tilt the pelvis back. We'll take a couple more each way, just taking it easy, especially on the inhale and you come through. If you feel lots of intense stretching through the belly, just don't go as far as you normally would. Be patient and accommodate wherever you are right now. We're gonna take one more each way. Inhale, coming through. Exhale, round. <clears throat> and then bring it back to neutral. Reach through the crown of the head. Make sure the tailbone is pointing back. And also just gently sort of brace through the center. So not so much that you can't breathe, but just enough so you're not hanging down. So bring some mindful strength <laughs> to your core. Now your next breath in. Keep that. Kick the right leg back, left arm forward. Inhale. Exhale, tap knee to elbow, lengthen. Exhale, lengthen. Four more, five, six, seven, eight. Stay nice and long, reach, 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 reach. And exhale, take it down. Let's switch sides. Left leg comes back. Make sure the core is braced gently. Right arm reaches out. Inhale. <clears throat> Exhale, tap. And lengthen. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Last one, tap and then lengthen and hold. Breathe. Exhale, hand down, knee down, tuck the toes under, and very slowly start to lift the hips high. Maybe pedal at the feet. Breathe out through the mouth if you have to. <laughs> I find myself doing that a lot. 
I'm out of breath doing, you know, if I brush my teeth too vigorously or put socks on, <laughs> it's a whole different experience. Take one more inhale and exhale. And see if you can find a bit of stillness in your down dog. And looking to the hands, go ahead and walk the feet up behind the wrists, feet under the hips, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Come up nice and slow. Bring the hands to the heart center and take a moment to center yourself. A little dizziness is normal. So just find one point to focus on. Focus on your breath. All right, let's take the hands down at the sides. Bring the feet hip distance apart, just a comfortable width. Inhale, pick the arms up. Exhale, sit low, find chair. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up. Exhale, sit low, find chair. So building a little bit of heat. Inhale. Exhale. Couple more. Inhale. Exhale, keep that gentle bracing through the core. Inhale, just really mild, really light. Exhale, hold, breathe. Adjust your stance if you need to. Inhale fully. Exhale, bring the hands to the hips. Step the left foot really far back for crescent. So really taking your time to get there. Power takes on a different meaning when you're pregnant. <laughs> so it's not about rushing through the motion. It's not about getting anywhere quickly. It's about building strength and then finding the inner strength to sit in that discomfort. Breathe. Take one more inhale. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart or to the hips. Start to shift your weight forward. See if you can find a warrior three. And maybe your warrior three is not super low. Like here, I'm pretty high up. If you feel like you can tip it down, you can. Inhale fully. Pay attention. Exhale. Left foot steps back. Turn towards me. Goddess squat. So bend the knees deeply. Hands to the heart. Breathe. <laughs> any way that you want to, any way that feels comfortable. See if you can sink a little bit lower. I'm gonna time you. I'm gonna take a few more breaths. So try not to resist that discomfort. Observe it. It's all right. One more inhale, exhale, straighten the legs, turn the right toes towards the front end of your mat, plant the fingertips down and extend the left leg straight back for half moon. Keep that gentle core awareness. If your balance is a little bit different than it used to be, that's okay, you can always take the other hand down. Inhale fully. Pay attention, exhale, left hand down, left foot down, soften the knees, turn towards the front of your mat, keep the knees bent, and then bring the hands to the knees, slowly come up. So coming up slowly will help with that dizziness if you experience that. Take a moment, hands to the heart. And let's do the other side. So first feet hip distance-ish. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, chair. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last two, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale up. Exhale, hold. Breathe. On your next breath in, straighten out a little bit. You're just gonna step the right foot really far back. Crescent lunge. Arms can be wherever. You can reach them up. 
You can keep them on the hips or hands to the heart. Find one point that you can focus on that'll help you balance. Your center of gravity is gonna be off. Even if you're not showing that much, your center of gravity starts to shift. It's kind of crazy. It's wild how our bodies uh, can just, we just do this. <laughs> Breathe. Exhale, start to tilt the upper body forward. Kick through the right leg. Find your version of warrior three today. Doesn't matter what that looks like. Take one more inhale. On your exhale, I want you to bend the left knee, step the right foot back, swivel to the back side of your mat, and sit the hips down low for goddess. Hands to the heart. So we're back in that space of heat, of a little discomfort. Breathe. About five seconds. Three, two, one. Straighten out. Turn the left toes towards the end of your mat. Bend. Take the left hand down. Kick through the right leg. Open up the right arm. Half moon. Any ver version or variation that works is good enough. Take one more breath in. Exhale. Take the right hand down. Step the right foot under the hips. Bend the knees a little bit and just bring your hands to your thighs for a second. Turn the toes out towards the corners of your mat. Exhale, sit the hips down low for a squat. Lift up through the crown of the head. Take a couple more breaths here. Exhale, plant the hands, straighten the legs a little bit, and just step back onto your knees one at a time, sitting back on the heels. Relax the shoulders back and down. Let the eyes close. And just let your breath come back to neutral. And gradually go ahead and sit down so it can cross the ankles. Sit back so you're on your butt. Take the soles of the feet together, grab a hold of the ankles, and bring them in as comfortably close as you can. So just to get into the hips a little bit before we come all the way out of our practice, I want you to focus on tilting the pelvis forward and slide the heels in close. So as you pull the heels in close, the pelvis tilts down towards your mat. Shoulders roll back, keep the head and the neck neutral. Breathe. Take two more breaths. Let the eyes open. Go ahead and cross your legs comfortably however you want. Turn towards me. Again, relax the shoulders. Keep your posture neutral. Sit up nice and tall.
I'm taking a moment here to remember that you have all the strength you need to get through anything in front of you, to get through all that's ahead. Just taking it one step at a time. Doing the best you can moment to moment. And your next inhale, if it feels all right, go ahead and circle the arms all the way up overhead, gently pressing the hands together. Exhale them right down to the heart center, sealing in your practice. Let the eyes blink open. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. If you liked this class, I have plenty more where that came from. I actually have a bunch of prenatal classes inside my digital studio at studio.badyogi.com. And then more than that, there's over 65 hours of non-prenatal classes inside the digital studio as well. So it'll follow you through every season and stage of life. If you want more of a structured thing, I also have some eight and 12 week programs that I'll link to in the description below. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me for class today. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your pregnancy. I'll see you next time.